Um, if you're stuck for something to do this weekend, maybe you could take it a show. How about a musical? Not about love or the French Revolution or household pets. Well, that was the bit you didn't and know. I said to Roger, would anybody get that reference? Because it's obviously it. cats. Oh, anyway, this it. musical yeah. is about buses. Yes, Manchester Art Gallery is staging a musical all about transport policy since the 1960s. It's got to be a winner, hasn't it? How could you resist? <laughs> Stuart Flinders has been to the dress rehearsal. <laughs> The comedy value of buses has long been recognised. Hey, watch out, here comes the Gestapo. <laughs> but they don't have the romance of steam trains. They've always been enthusiasts, of course. The study and collection of bus tickets goes back to 1855. This, if you're interested, is a 1935 Leyland Titanic TT3 in Bury. But for most of us, it's about getting from A to B. On a lopsided ramshackle bus, we ride from day Rodgers and Hammerstein, no less, wrote a song about a lopsided bus. But even they might have been stumped by a commission about the 1968 Transport Act and the Selneck Integrated Transport System. The creators of Bus Regulation, the musical, have borrowed the music and roller skates from Andrew Lloyd Webber's Starlight Express. The costumes are homemade. It's going to be very fun, it's going to be very family friendly. I mean, what's not to like? We've got a disco ball, we've got disco lights, we've got music, and you get to learn about the history of public transport policy in Greater Manchester. The musical is part of a campaign to put buses back into public control. Right now, our buses just aren't good enough. We've seen 8 million miles cut from the network since 2010. Our fares have gone up two years in a row. Bus company shareholders make 184 million over the past 10 years alone. Should the gallery be using public money to fund what is essentially a piece of political propaganda? I don't think it's necessarily propaganda. I think this piece of art is actually about largely education, to be honest, because the piece is actually taking you through Manchester's history. It will be performed twice tomorrow. You'll wait ages for a bus musical, and then two come along at once. Stuart Flinders, BBC Northwest Tonight, Manchester. <laughs> Very, Brilliant. very good. But Mal Stuart. Malcolm Dore had just tweeted exactly that same joke. He said it's only for on for one night, but if you wait a while, there'll be three in a row. Oh, <laughs> very good. Very good. Right.